Hello everyone, it's Akatrius here, and I welcome you to this new episode of Chrono Arc. Last time, in episode 7.5, I have shown you the final stage with my trusty party of a lot of good characters. I don't remember exactly who I wa went with. Was it Leon, Joey, Ironheart, and Hein? Could have been. I'm not sure. Anyway, we got our ass clapped by the final boss, and <clears throat> now we're here. Got a saved item, though. The Fox Orb. This is what you get when uh, a sealed orb pops. Pretty strong thing. Which means our uh, main DPS this time should be female. <laughs> now, you know what, who my favorite character is, right? But do I want to use her? Again? I like user almost every run. I could use like I could try the twins again because now I have a good item to keep Helia alive. I could use Trisha. We haven't used Trisha a lot yet. I could use Charon. Well, though actually Charon is very bad with this because she depends more on the uh, pain debuff. So I suppose Trisha it is for this time. And as a support, I am going to take Pressel. Joey and Pressel are the best supports in the game, but actually let me let me let me do Haas. Because Haas is hot. Yep. Alright. So as you have met, as you might have noticed, I have started um I've started playing a blind let uh, blind play of uh Library of Ruina. And honestly, I'm pretty much looking forward to recording more of that and doing more of that. Yesterday, I I think I I recorded the first four episodes. And today, I'm just going to record this, maybe a second one. And then, I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. <clears throat> maybe I'll play some other games too. That would be something I should do, probably. <laughs> Can't always play the same games. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if we've already talked about Trisha, so I will do so after we do this. Now on Mirror Mirage, and uh, we got very bad skill rock draws. That's already very great. Alright, uh, we got Devil, Devil Team. Every fifth skill play from hand, the, the next skill costs zero. And it persists between battles. But it's Trisha's passive. Trisha is a character that wants to evade a lot and crit a lot. So anything, any equipment that gives him more evade, like the Fox Orb, is extremely good. She'll be a very good damage dealer here. We get, we already get to enhance or over, yeah, and enchant our Fox Orb. We get attack minus one, which is already really bad. Uh, we don't have enough money. Great. Well, nothing we can do here, except for hoping that it doesn't affect us too much, but with with how bad our skills are right now, it does. It shouldn't matter. Okay, we do get hit by an AoE. Ooh, base. Now, if you would attack, or don't attack, that's even better. <coughs> And we still kill things. Good. So we put Hass to level 2. We already know her abilities, so I don't have to uh, explain that again. <clears throat> hmm. This Might Sting is a pretty interesting ability. It deals pain damage, heals every uh, other ally for 9. It makes the next uh, skill cost 3 less. I want to take that and the Whip of Love. Having some cost manipulation is pretty good. We got a crested cape. And I'm off of Trisha. Everything that gives her more evade is good. She can now has 29% evade, which is really good. She also has a bit of attack back, a bit of healing power, which is eh. She loses maximum health, but it's uh it's Trisha. She doesn't need a lot of max health. She wants to evade anyway. Alright, we've already we already seen every uh, everything of this. 
Let's try to override the enchantment of the of the fox orb. And we get a bit of crit chance. I take that. We have the one attack back. 20 attack right now is already a lot. The healing power is like whatever. But the 3% crit chance is pretty neat. Let's go in and hope we get we don't get the living armor. We do get the living armor. Well, it is what it is. Hmm. We can just catch him off guard. Actually, I just want to attack him. Great. Uh, but I need attacks. Oh, uh, yeah, that sucks. Hmm. So this doesn't this doesn't ignore armor. Actually, we do have twenty five percent armor piercing, so we should still deal a bit of damage with this. Yep, we do. Oh, Trisha got hit. takes more damage but that's just that's what it is all right and this should be game of course not game would be too easy if I could win a fight uh, all right that's it very easy, first fight is over! We get one of the worst equips in the game. In my opinion, I don't know. I don't think the Rod of Faith is good in it with anything. It just. It's basically a, uh, an equip that makes a. Yeah, you know, that, that makes a support better at attacking. I don't know. Like if we get Pressel, we can try to make an uh, an offensive Pressel here. That would be fun. We did not get Pressel. All right. Uh, we can choose between Miss Chain, who is a flexible character with a lot of buffs and debuffs. She can CC, so this is good. We could take Caron, the Pain Debuff Master. Johan with fixed skill spammer or Phoenix, which is a kind of a weird character. Considering that uh, Trisha has very bad skills right now, and actually she doesn't uh, synergize too much with Johan because he doesn't want zero cost skills, I think I want to take Miss Chain here. This might have been a very big mistake, but I'm nothing but someone who likes to do mistakes so whatever all right i want engine actually <clears throat> yeah fire ground is great and i think zoom is great too gain swiftness when health is below 33 I mean, that's good, but I want to go for low-cost skills first. Then we have a gold skill, but we get Blink Stat, which is one of the best abilities that she has. Basically, this can draw us a lot of cards, so we want that. Mm. I don't know how this works. This is now healing power. Yeah, this is still healing power. Damn. So basically, this is great on something like uh, support of Narhan, because he heals a lot. This is also great on uh, offensive uh, pressel, like it's it's just weird. We give our uh, house the breath of regeneration because it's what we have, and let's see what we can do in one two. I am not that happy with my party. Just gonna put it out there from the start, but. 
Hey, we're here to try some things out. So we will. Get a hasty counter, which is already pretty nice. Skillbook and one key. One thing we really want is Illusion Slash. We do not get Illusion Slash. Yikes. Uh, we do get Crack Bow. Shadow Step, which ignores Taunt, but we can only use it once. It is pretty good because it it, it taunts it, it taunts itself, and taunts counts as an as CC debuff, but. Mm. Yeah, I think Illusion Strike is better because it can bleed. And bleed is pretty good. Get two free soul stones. That's big. Give me another. Oh, sad. This must be a, an identification scroll. Yep. The mapping scroll too. Alright, now we already know that there, if we get a lifting scroll or if that one is a lifting scroll. I'll try not to use it in this fight. We only have two mana for this fight, okay. This is a bit difficult. Actually, which should give us one of those anyway. Okay, now we have Flame Barrier, which is healing gauge protection, and when, when we get attacked, we get Good shit. Good shit. AK okay, burn. Uh, we act, we use a little bit of love on on Trisha. Nice and gets another grievous burn stack. And losing strike. All right. We did not get another lifting scroll, which which sucks, quite honestly. But we can increase our mana. Very important. Heaven of Anger. Very great for Miss Chain. More maximum health and more... Was it armor? Yeah, more maximum health, more armor and more aggro. Really good for Miss Chain. We want Miss Chain to get the aggro and... Uh, yeah, that's our way to do it. A courage, possibilities, or potential. I think I use possibilities here because it can turn into anything I want. Now to go to the right and hope that we get a lifting scroll. Or a purification scroll works too. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. Blink stab. She gets to fire wave our, our asses. And she hits. So that's what Blink Stop does. <laughs> Alright, next turn we get teamwork. So yeah, Blink Step basically, oh that's, that's good for us. Blink Step is basically we get to attack uh, as often with, so we draw a skill, that skill gets a buff. That buff basically says recast Blink Step if we use it. So we draw another skill and that gets a buff as well. And it goes on until we don't have mana anymore and can, can't uh, use the Blink Step stuff, which usually doesn't happen. Okay, the only thing I want to re uh, reforge here would be the Rod of Faith. But for that, I would need another thing. Uh, it bugs me when I don't have a lifting or purification scroll. Uh, there's an unknown scroll here and this. But actually, let us not get the ID scroll. I might not have enough money for what I want, but is this a purification scroll? Swiftness. Damn. So basically, I can uh, unlock these uh, these places with the right scrolls, but I don't have them, which sucks. 
Anyway. There's another fight here. We open with Blink Stop again, which is really good. Yikes. Okay, we end our turn. Got a lot of damage off, so that's nice. We restrain this thing. Fire ground is pretty good for the flame barrier. Basic attack. Whip of love, so she's almost healed. We got healing gauge protection, so everything is dandy. Healer back to full, he dies to fire. Easy! Now we can go in here and... Uh, Berserk just... I, for one second I was really hyped. Because I thought we got the, uh, the bottle of poison, which is really good for hearts because... Um, most of her healing skills also inflict a pain debuff called Healing Wound. This one. And basically... Uh, Ball of Poison makes it so that every pain debuff skill gets its cost reduced by one. Still didn't get a good skill. Damn. I guess we just use another Shadow Step here? Yeah. House gets another Whip of Love. Take it. <clears throat> MS Chain gets... Leave this to me. Really good skill. Okay, I could redraw this, or I could give it to Trisha, instead of a Crescent Cape. <coughs> because this will just be more lifesteal. But honestly, how much lifesteal do I need? We already dodge a lot. <coughs> so let us try to get something good here. A Guardian of a Fallen. This is extremely good. From his chain. And if we get him later from Narhan. She's 52 health now. <laughs> of course she, she now receives critical hits more often. But she has a skill that reduces her next attack to 1. Right? In this fire ground? Yeah. So like. We can be safe. In a very wicked way. We can be safe. So yeah, let us try this boss now. And we are up against... Sir Darchi the second? Interesting. Okay. Oh, so this is this is decent. So all I have to do is make sure I don't use the skill that uh, someone with that uses. <coughs> Seals, she gets dancing leaves back. He will attack Huzz. Bleed. Get mana back when this happens, huh? So. 
the basic shields of her. This is difficult! Alright. He's bleeding now, that's good. Uh... Nice, he dodged. Hmm. We got Blink Stat, which is really good. Oh, she can also be crit healed more often. It's actually pretty good. Accelerate is pretty good here. Another blink stab. Oh shit, I did not look at what he was about to use. Damn it. Big mistake, big mistake. This is difficult. What the hell? She dies to bleed. I am. Um... I'm a bit confused by this ball, so I'm sorry I'm I'm so so quiet here. But this is so weird. Yeah, now she's dead, now I have to win with uh, Chain alone. Alright, now he would die. He should die. Whoa. That was... a fight. stuff from this considering it was so hard <laughs> this is probably the hardest one two boss i've ever seen damn <coughs> i mean i like it but also what the hell good thing we have hers because it's easy to uh heal back to pull with us in the party this sure was an experience i tell you yeah. Well, let's move on. We get Cheryl Slash. That's the ability I wanted to have. And it's the only ability here. Shadow Slash is the best ability for, for Trisha. Basically, we can use it twice. On the same, uh, where we use it on a, on a undamaged enemy. 
And if we hit four unhamaged enemy with it, and damage enemies with it, we can even cast it a fifth time. It's pretty good. Alright, what else do we get? We get Fire Ground again. Which, to be fair, is a pretty good skill. It got, gets health gauge protection and all that. We already have two Shadow Steps. Heart Pierce would be cool here. Yeah. Damn, I still gotta get over what just happened. Alright, we are in a good spot right now. Good, so we have something to fix. And we have a lot of skills anyway. Blink Step is also something that is not once per battle. So this is extremely good. But we cannot copy it with Mirror, uh, mirror Image. Because it's a rare skill. Alright, we don't need any more skills of Trisha, except if we get the second uh, illusion, uh, sh Shadow Slash, we'll take it. We do need a lot more stuff for Huzz, especially in uh, Whip of Healing. And we do need more stuff for Miss Chain. So those are our goals now. Go into 2 1 with a Swiftness Scroll, an identifi Identification Scroll, and a lot of potions I do not know. We're already 30 minutes in because I was so. So blasted by Sir Dorchu a second. Didn't know he can show up as a boss. Alright, another enchanting station. I wanna enchant the Guard of the Fallen. Attack plus one. Oh, that's good. We have no keys, sadly. We don't even have money for a key. Alright, first goal is increase max mana. Second goal is uh, get another draw. Let's go one cost uh, skill, if nothing else. We can go up from here. There's this. Can buy another skill book. Add two ID scrolls. I take. Oh, yeah. So I can figure out what these do. Heal increase potion. Hello there. And an honor potion, which is a healing potion. Really nice. I'm gonna use both of you. <laughs> okay. Miss Chain is what, oh, who needs something the most. Playing with fire is great because it inflicts grievous burn and makes all enemy pain and weakening debuffs remain an extra turn. Also, it's an AoE ability. He has almost no damage, though. Shred them all. Increases all pain and weakening. They debuff stacks by one. And stacks, uh, stacks something by themselves. We also get another hit whip of love, which we don't need. I think we take... Oh, shred them all is also AoE. We take that. Alright, let's hit it. There is no reason to restrain him. Right according to plan. If this is worrying, but we should be able to do it. Can make a bleed. <laughs> Can make a die. <laughs> Hit him. Hasty counter. Hmm. Oh 
Okay. So this is going pretty well, I would say. Blink step is like the best draw skill in our deck right now. It's not even funny how good it is. Oh yeah, we can use the swiftness scroll to not die. <clears throat> we don't have any lifting scrolls, so this might be a very bad call. But I want to do, but I want to get as much as I can. This was a very bad. T uh, we might die here. We might just die here. Because hmm. these horses are the embodiment of evil. Or you get blink stat, which is really good. Can you stop? You have a lot of dodge chance, Trisha. Use it. Okay. Ten eleven, but should kill. Somehow, we got a cross bridge. It's okay. Hmm. Let's increase our max mana and get draw card as planned. Renovate is okay. I think I'll just go for draw. Destroying two cards of one is already pretty good. So for Yu-Gi-Oh players call it plus one. <laughs> First off, let me identify this. This is Curse, cannot resist debuffs. Hmm. This is 40% faint resist, so I don't want to lose it. Yeah, let's just keep a cross bridge. It's down here again, there's just an enchanting station. I can buy one key. What is mass destroy anyway? Oh, more damage against pharaohs. Uh, I'm gonna fight pharaohs at this stage, bro. Ooh, we get blink stuff. Apparently Trisha's uh Apparently Trisha's amount of dodge is not sufficient to survive.
more more hedges. Okay, can we restrain here one of the hedges? Uh yeah, sure. We have love, great. Good thing is that Miss Chain's healing gauge is almost always protected by something. So like we can do this and she heals for 23. Uh we can do leave this from leave this to me. Destroy itself. Yep, but uh, we have full heal. <clears throat> All according to plan. Plan means plan. Got it. Get a cubic necklace, an unknown potion, and a healing potion. I like the healing potion. <clears throat> Depending on which bus comes here, we die. Straight up. We die. Let's try. It's the one boss I didn't want to fight. If we don't dodge, we die. Actually, we restrain him. <clears throat> we did make him bleed. It was still not enough. Yikes. Okay, how we how do we protect her from not to not die? Oh, that's all. And there goes her entire healing gauge. <clears throat> Anything with swiftness? We're so dead. We're so extremely dead. Nice. We lived, bitch. I don't know how I did it, but we lived. And not too badly either. Magic Fred is something I don't want. <laughs> Which means we can go to the forge, which is up here. One big problem that I have right now is that... Ooh, moon phase. It's better than the Bible for sure. 
Then we can use those two to make a green one. And it's a safety charm, something we will never need. All right, what I wanted to say is, um, our biggest problem right now, we don't have a relic. Having no relic will be a detriment. Already pointing it out, it will be a detriment. <laughs> an electric chainsaw, it seems hard to handle. It's in a non-electric chainsaw. All right, so we can take either another healer, the best one in the game, in fact, with Joey, or we can decide for Johan again. We could decide for Carrot again, or we could decide for Silverstein. Silverstein and Johan would be interesting choices here. Bo Johan isn't really synergistic. I think I'll take Silverstein. All right, I want, okay, bear trap, grave shot, and another grave shot. Here I want, oh, god damn it, we have a feeling, great, AoE healing skill, nice. Not completely happy with what I have received, but it is what it is, uh, lads, it is what it is. So, goal for this next stage, get one more mana. And maybe level up uh, the Silversteam boy until we get Rapid Fire. Skill with a key. Of course we target him. Close Quarter is good too. Engine Reload is also really good. It's basically zero, zero cost uh, burn. Let's take this. How many skills does Miss Chain have now? Five, six, six. Like plus the, plus the. Uh, so basically, this means uh, the own skills plus uh, fixed ability because that's also class skill. So it only counts for class skills. This isn't a class skill. This isn't a class skill. Five, and he has three. So I want him to get most of. Let's see what we get for uh, equipment. A uh, one sword. And there's more crit chance. I take it. Got an identification scroll. I want to use in a potion. Attack power increase. Uh, for Trisha. Trisha should be our main damage dealer anyway. Silverstein is basically just a supportive damage dealer. Alright, we get an enchantment table right here. Alright. Okay. Yep, this should trigger. Uh, we get a heart pierce off, so that, that one dies. She wants to giggle, giggle all you want. Ooh, two taunters. As you can see, I am literally dealing damage right now. Okay, now we're now we're out of options. Uh, zoom. Get a mark of Silverstein off. Okay. Mm. 
nice. Use the shred all and a basic attack to run it off. Q. Yeah, that's basically what we do right here. We can get another mana now. I'm I'm still too flashed by Sir Dorchy the second to actually commentate. Well, I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, let us do this and more healing power for our girl Huzzy. It's looking pretty decent. Let's give Silver Steve this just so he has something. It's like not the worst equipment in the world. It's just not good. Nothing here except for a horsey. <laughs> Boss found. But I want to do more. Alright, more stuff. We got Blink Stop in our open hour again. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he will attack. We dodge great. So as you can see, Blink Stop is very big damage and very big draw. And it is not once per duel, which is incredibly based. Alright, uh, we get another Bear Trap. That's a good thing about Bear Trap is that it recurs itself. Hey, we get a free key. I like free keys. Don't have any place to use it yet, Bo, but we have it. We get another small barrier generator. You know the thing that did jack shit in that one fight? Yeah. Attack. We do have a lifting scroll in hand. Yeah, screw that. Sag didn't get what I wanted. Uh... He will attack, sadly. Right, he will also attack, sadly. Rogue resistance is always nice. Uh, we shadow slash him again. We would have... Uh, Discarded it anyway, so just using it is better. Fire ground! Mm. Whoa. Who actually gets stunned? Only us! Wow, Sag. Just discard your first aid and you should be dandy. Oh no. More swiftness, more ignotant, nice. Kill that one. Uh yeah, just I need to just heal. He attacks, he gets hit by a bear trap and he dies. That's the good thing about the bear trap, it's another uh, it's another thing that hits before the enemy attacks. The only downside is that you have to basically be able to predict who is getting attacked. But like, she has a charm that increases her getting aggro, so like, yeah. I sure don't know who is going to attack her. Ooh. Oh. Ho ho ho. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Why does this always happen? Why does my teleport scroll always get uh, from me right into the middle of danger? So! Ooh, throwing dagger. Attack plus 10%. That's pretty decent. 
So first off, we want to draw. We want to use that max mana skill. Also, why don't increase our max mana further? Set a max mana with this party, really good. This is a really mana hungry party, as is, as are most of my parties. So I'm pretty happy with this. Only problem is Silverstein only has free, uh, free abilities, but that that's just what it is. It's meant for school. <laughs> I would like to say that we are in a good spot. I don't know who would agree with that, but I would say we are in a great spot. What can we buy? Uh, teleport scroll and a lifting scroll. I want to have a lifting scroll. I want to have a key. Great. Let's see if we can defeat the 2 2 boss. It is a time eater! Difficult boss, in my opinion. Very difficult boss. Let us see if we can, in fact, do it. Hmm. Blink Stab is pretty useless, I think. Can we get a good Huskull? I mean, Wither Feeling is... Actually, Wither Feeling doesn't work on full, uh, full health. That means she's getting count. She is countering. Oh, we can we can always see who is attacked. Oh. Oh. So this isn't RNG at all. scenario here uh, I think this is the right choice This will just transfer right uh, over to the right. We don't have a healing skill in hand, which is really not poggers. <coughs> All right. If there's a two to the right. This should be it. Yep, 
we did it. We dodged the we dodged the wall here. Okay, now this turn we want we need to make sure that we somehow get it on him. Okay. You ain't making it easy for me. She has it, and we're doing pretty good still. <clears throat> Can we kill it? That was really good. That was incredibly good. <coughs> okay. Uh... This is it. Nice. Very nice. Rewinding gear. Recast all eight skill. It's a consumable? It is a consumable? Because all eight skills will cross from your hand during this battle, okay. Gonna keep this for a, for a hard boss. And we get the gold skill book, and we get punished from head to toe or enhanced mark. Mm, I mean, hers is incredibly hot on this art. Hers is incredibly hot anyway. Hmm. This is a good healing skill. No, I use an ounce mark here. We still have one key left. We're pretty healthy. Yeah, let's go on. Get another skill. I hope it's rapid shot. It is. Very easy choice if rapid shot is one of them. <laughs> All right. Be careful not to like it. God, I love us. I love her. I love Huz. Huz is, Huz is based. Help increase potion elements chain. Alright, stage 5. The one we usually die in. In somewhere or another. Can we do it this time? Can we beat stage 5? Another pig. Okay, we do have a, uh, a lifting scroll on us. So this shouldn't be too big of a problem. Uh, let's get down here first. Ah, uh, the enemy combination I don't like. I do not like this at all. Okay, we should be able to do this well. Okay. 
heck is there? You do something incredibly stupid. Ouch. That didn't go well. Well, whatever. She's in death's door, but we can restrain him. And then we just win. Can you get hit? Please. Please? Thanks. Get some more healing going before we lose, uh, before we win, I mean. And yeah. And then we go get the last mana. You cannot get more than eight mana. The nine mana costs 99 soul stones. You ain't ever gonna get that. Never ID scroll. All right. I suppose the boss is right there, yep. Hmm, there's another enchantment table or is it I can't quite see if that's an enchantment table or an armory but I think it's an enchantment table let's do this first two snow giants okay let's start with a shadow step Don't need that this turn, actually. No, I don't need that this turn. Die. And draw. Enter. Okay, we enhance Mark here. Best thing we did this turn. She gets almost killed. Restrain. Oh, I thought she would hit Huzz. We do have a different set of problems, though. We have no attacks on hand. Cannot attack that one. Ooh, blink stop. With that, we should be dandy. that with a lot of mana is just this strong. Okay. 99. <laughs> oh, the next ones we will level the server steam because he's still... Oh, actually. Got this. Oh, this, this is actually pretty decent. We could just get one more draw skill and maybe level someone. If we, if we feel like it. This is a weird run. Because it works a bit too well. And I don't feel safe.
Sede. Okay, number one. Okay, this should be good. That's good. He dies, someone else gets the stuff. Good! What the hell? Teamwork skill we have in general? No, sadly not. But teamwork is good. I should remember that. It's been doing me a good, good of, a, a lot of good this run. Alright, we wanted another draw skill, so. Uh, right away, there's. Ugh, uncomfortable doll. It's RNG, but whatever. Level up on Silver Steam, we get a quick fire right for blast or actually we get a quick fire. Better. Alright, we can have a key here. The Bible revised. Do you even have a regular Bible still on you? No. Ooh, a Vitality Scroll. We found it. Oh, we got two breads, so we can use them to get something else. Not my best thing to do, but we get money and money. It's actually pretty good. We can get one more skill roll for that. Also, Flash Hero is better than regular heal. Do we get another Shadow Slash? Yes! That was actually what I wanted. Also, you will now fix this one because this is Swiftness. Forget the regular one. Up there, there's another thing. Two breads. See, we didn't even lose anything. All right, anyone ready for this, for this boss? This is this is a mean one. This is indeed a mean one. Our track record on uh, on stream or on video against the stage five boss is we died every time. How will it be today? Who will it be today? Oh, we didn't have this one yet. The Pharaoh's leader. So basically what the Ferris leader does is the first uh, the first uh, regular attack I use I have to use on her. Uh, on my on my own guys. Also apparently a vitality scroll gave us uh, overclock. This just means we have to use her skills. Slashing. Ah, this is fun. Mm, how much focus stacks do we have? Zero? That's sad. Look at the amount of buffs she has! <laughs> oh boy, effective flat, I take that! Ooh, 
next mana, sure. Give it to me. All right, again, the first, the first uh, attack skill I have, I have to use on one of my allies. I use it on her since she can dodge. Okay, I drop uncontrollable withdrawal. Dull. Ooh, she stuns. That's fine because it, uh, we can just de-stun ourselves. Uh, engine reload. Make her burn. Shred from all. Doesn't do anything right now. Yeah. Um. All right. That's the next thing she can do. She can cast Obey. This basically means that the character with Obey. Ouch. At the start of each turn, she will get a countdown skill. And if I hit her with another skill, this will be fine. As you can see, that was pretty easy. Alright, we use Illusion Strike to make her more bleedy. This also gives us more tactical draws, so... Ha! Hmm. This is, in my opinion, the easiest stage 5 boss, because every time I fight her, I just roll over her. Sedge? Uh, she cannot do anything because of the con uh, obedience. Uh, but yeah, she's already at 155 health and we're still pretty much full. Uh, okay. Honestly, at this point... Alright. Every skill. So yeah, this is basically, this is just the easiest fight in the game. We do this, then we have to use one attack skill on ourselves. Does this, would have been funny if that counted, not gonna lie. Okay, we use shred them all. I don't care. Ouch. Sure, we all take damage, but like she moves before. Ah, Silverstein died. Thanks. Okay. All right, you attack yourself, and when we just kill her. That is the final boss. Uh, that is the, the stage five boss. Like this, this is easy. Oh yeah, we never, we never actually finished this fight with, uh, with Miss Chain. It's like a burning night. I didn't read what it does, but we got it. It's a skill book, credits, soul stones, turns for score all great. Oh, I just discard one of the potions. I don't know what they do. All right, uh, where's this fight here, which we didn't do yet, but honestly, I don't really care enough.
Hmm. Domination would have been good to have for this, actually. Because it's a low damage skill. Which decreases evade, sadly, but we can recast it anyway. We take Ricochet Shot. Alright, how much do I care about uh, enchanting ones? Not at all, actually. We just add one more card draw, we take the Evex set, because Evex set is good. Now, for the second time, or rather for the first time in a full run, with a team I would not have expected to do it, we enter stage 6. I did not think that this team, like when I had Trisha Hulls and Miss Chain, I was like, yeah, this is just gonna be a short run, we're definitely not gonna get into stage 6, like, no way. Get out! But we en we made it. We uh, entered stage 6. This is what lays the fog. I don't think it's too useful, but whatever. Uh, yeah. And with this team, considering we have Blink Star, and we have this, uh, this item right there, we might even do it. But let's see first. Uh... Ooh. There's for cages and this, so I wanna I wanna unlock for cages. I think this is the better fight. Oh no, this is just this one. Alright. Get me some possibilities. Ooh, teamwork. It's her. Ouch. It's her. Ouch. Okay. Mm. They always move last, so like I don't I don't have to watch out too much. That's better for me. Actually, that's really bad for me now. You hit her. She takes a lot of damage. You hit her. She takes not quite enough damage. And we should win this turn. Yep. Get a tablet for it. I think this is just, uh, yeah, but dead can be revived, haha. <laughs> I don't die, but I want another, uh, relic. Neither get, tw uh, Twisted Light or Ancient Shield. That was a very easy choice for me. Ancient Shield is one of my favorite relics because it lets me, uh, because it lets me have a barrier at the start of a battle. And I let, and I take any kind of additional pr uh, protection. In fact, I do not want to learn a skill. I don't even have the money for it. All right, there's a, there's only regular battle. Do we still have to kill that thing? So that's just annoying. Oh, this could be it. Because it's always it's random enemies. I think. Well, did it. Uh, uncontrollable doll. Attack. Sadly, we don't have anything to attack. Uh, yeah, this will be discarded anyway. We do a healing. And we do the healing again. And our turn. I need to do it.
This is an annoying enemy because it hits so many times. Right. There's one more set coming up. Okay, this will be a bit hard because he will be a pain in the ass. Huh, he died. Restrain him. Yes, it is fun. I should use Breath of Regeneration more often. As well as my character should hit more often. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Just read him. Easy peasy, and we all even almost healed everything back. Alright, we get Dark Ross, which is okay. I wish I had money. I wish I had money so hard right now. This would be so good. Okay, the vault is here, but we'll have to do a very hard battle for that. Uh, fuck it. Yeah. We have good attacks. Uh, get blink stab. We didn't. Okay. Just have to hope not to die. I don't like that. Damn it! Now we still have one here. So the most unfortunate thing here is we do not get the one skill that would save us this battle. Yeah, we lose. This enemy will always kill me, no matter what, because look at this, I just, I mean, six cars left in deck, and we still won't find it. Oh wait, yeah, we cannot find it anymore, we just die here. Like, the, the one ability I needed to win this fight is at the bottom of my deck, so, sadly, we die to a regular enemy before we get to the final boss. Right, the, the, the last regular enemy before the final boss. Because Blink Slap, uh, Blink Stab is just at the bottom of our deck. But yeah, we tried. We got to the final stage, so this is our most successful full run yet. But sadly, we lost at the final stretch before the final boss, since I wanted to save the Fox Orb. Sad, but a reality we have to live with. However, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
I certainly did. This was this was kind of a fun ride, what with the Sir Archie 2 boss and the uh, the show off of how I kill the Pharaoh's leader. This party was very unexpectedly good. I did not expect this at all. Having success with Huzz especially because I love Huzz uh, character design wise. This was just a blast for me, even though I was very low on the commentating side. However, I hope you guys have a great day and stay ravened.